Hey, what's up guys, it's Trees and Vitamin D, and today we're gonna show you guys three must-see hot springs in California. So today guys, we're gonna show you guys three hot springs that you should see in California. They're three of our favorites so far. And the last one you gotta stay tuned for because that's definitely my favorite. I'm not sure if it's her favorite <laughs> yet though, but definitely my favorite. And for the first one on our list, it's gonna be Remington Hot Spring in Kern County, right on Kern River. The hike is not that bad. So the hike you're gonna go on, it's called Remington Hot Spring Trail. And let me get that for you real quick. The hike is 0.4 miles and it's honestly a super easy hike. So Remington Hot Spring, the trail is literally right on Kern River. And we'll, we'll put the link below on how to get there and um, what the trail is called on all trails. But the trail is only 0.4 of a mile and it's out and back. So that's 0.4 total. Pretty cool hot spring. Uh, when you get there, you walk down this hill and down the hill you see a hot spring on your left. It looks like a bathtub and you keep walking down and it's pretty cool. A bunch of hot springs literally right on the river. And when I went, there was a drum, a, like a drum circle. So I don't know, it made it like really cool. So like everyone's in the hot spring playing their drums and you got the river there too. So it makes it perfect. So if the hot spring gets too hot, you can jump right into the river. And if you go down the river a little bit, there's like spots you can just set up your camp there and just hang out with your friends, whatever you want to do for the day. And also across the river, we also, there's this huge rock that you can jump off. Just be careful crossing the river. Honestly, I don't recommend it actually. All right, there's six hot springs. <laughs> And be sure to get there early because honestly, Kern River, I mean, Remington Hot Spring Trail gets really packed super yeah. fast. Every time I've gone there, during the weekend, it's super packed and it's kind of hard to get a spot unless you go early or go on the weekday because when I went on the weekday, there was barely anyone there. So do that. But we actually have another hot spring that you can go to if Remington's packed. And this one's still on Kern River and I think it's only a mile down the street. And that's... The hot spring's called Miracle Hot Spring and that's in Hobo Campground. And that's usually where we go if Remington Hot Spring's too packed. We'll go to Miracle Hot Spring and that's right on the river too. It's the same same concept. It's a little more... Um, Isn't it like smaller? Yeah, a little more smaller because uh, Remington Hot Spring has more space. It's more spacier and the Miracle Hot Spring's more just... Mm. I don't know. It's not, it's, there's not as much space but it's still a cool place to go if uh, Remington Hot Spring's too packed. And I would definitely recommend check out both because uh, you meet a lot of cool people. And honestly, the whole thing where you go in the hot spring, it's hot. And if you get too hot, you jump in the river. Like I've never seen that anywhere else besides this place. So it's, it makes like a cool place to go. <laughs> Just one little safety thing is be careful with the river because the current river is like known for a lot of depths. So if you're gonna jump in the river, jump in a spot where the river isn't flowing too crazy and also where there's not any rocks. All right guys, at Remington Hot Spring, I don't think you, you can't camp there, but I think at the other hot spring, which is Miracle Hot Spring, there's a campground there called Hobo Campground and you definitely can camp there. All right guys, stay tuned for the last one though because that's definitely my favorite hot spring and I really want you guys to go there. Every time someone wants me to recommend them a spot, I always say this one place. So stay tuned for the last one. All right guys, that's it for our first hot spring. If you guys are liking the video, go ahead and like it and subscribe. For the second hot spring I'm gonna show you, it's called Santa Barbara Hot Spring. The, the trail at the Santa Barbara Hot Springs is called Hot Springs Canyon Trail. And we'll leave the link below on that one. 3.7 miles in total. The Hot Springs Canyon Trail, it's a loop. So, but you have to be careful with this because it's kind of- It's kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky. Yeah. So the loop keeps going. So you can easily miss the hot spring, but I want to say it's like two miles up. And then you, you'll you see it on the left, there's a sign that says hot spring and you'll just go up to the hot spring. But if you keep following that trail, you end up going back to the same spot. So just be careful with that and look out for it. You'll see probably a lot of people on the trail. So you can probably just ask them questions like, hey, like uh, when do I turn left? And they'll, they'll let you know. Yeah. That's how we found it the first. This hot spring, I like it specifically because it's super secluded. And when you're walking to the actual hot spring, there's a point where you look at the ocean mm -hmm. and it gives you a really nice view of the ocean because you're on a mountain and you, you get a good view of the ocean and it's, I don't know, the views are crazy. But I like this hot spring because it's secluded. It's like covered in trees. It's a pretty cool spot, it's honestly. It's like caved in almost. Yeah, it's like a caved in and the hot springs just go down. It's like like a teacup or something. Yeah, yeah that's, that spot's pretty cool. You meet a lot of cool people there. There's a lot of younger people there. Specifically, every time I've gone there, it's usually younger people. And I'm assuming it's because the college 
the Santa Barbara College Town. So comparing this hot spring to Kern Rivers hot spring, the water here is like blue. Like literally, yeah. like I don't know how to explain it, but if you compare the water at Kern River and the water at Santa Barbara, the one at Santa Barbara has this like really distinct blue. And don't be scared, it'll, it'll be <laughs> fine. You're not gonna get sucked in the hole. Okay, baby. <laughs> Dogs are, you can bring your dog on this trail too. It says dogs friendly. At Santa Barbara, you can't camp there. No camping. I'm sorry, buddy. You gotta beat it. So that's all for Santa Barbara Hot Spring. And we're about to announce the last one right now. If you guys are getting value from the video, like and comment. Comment below which one's your favorite one so far. Or actually, comment below which one's your favorite one at the end. For the third hot spring, we're gonna show you guys and it's definitely my favorite hot spring. It's called Deep Creek Hot Spring. And I definitely recommend you guys going right after this video. Before you leave the video, you gotta like the video. Then go to Deep Creek Hot Spring and tell me if you're going to Deep Creek Hot Spring because I wanna to go to Deep Creek Hot Spring. Deep Creek is located in Apple Valley in the San Bernardino Forest. And I like the spot, it's pretty cool. There's like multiple hikes you can take to this location. Yeah, so for Deep Creek, favorite spot by the way recommend you guys need to go after this video i want you to drive deep creek oh God, and say no. manny sent you don't say that they wonder who i am yeah, no. <laughs> all right but there's two trails of deep creek we'll put them both down there's one a f there's a five mile hike and there's a 3.6 mile hike the 3.6 mile hike that one comes from bowen ranch and deep creek deep creek campground they're literally right by each other deep deep creek campground and in bowen ranch I recommend, I don't know, you guys can go either one, doesn't matter. But that hike coming from there is way easier than the one coming from like Lake Arrowhead area. Yeah. And we'll link that one below. We'll put shorter hike and then link below, link below and we'll put longer hike and then have the link below. Deep Creek is in like a spot just like Kern River where there's a creek going down the middle and there's hot springs around it. So it's, it makes a good mix. So you'll have the hot yeah. water, get too hot, jump in the creek. But Deep Creek, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it beats Remington Hot Spring by a lot. Just cause like all the activities you can do in Deep Creek, you got a slack line, you got a, you can go cliff jumping. There's a lot of people camping there, but you meet a lot of cool people there. There's a swing. Yeah, so there's an actual swing there. And then there's also like a hand swing where you can use it and then you can jump in the water, maybe do some backflips if you're like some gymnastics person. There's also like a lot of fish there and like we were looking at all the tadpoles because they're kind of really big if you just look at them and it's pretty cool. Yeah, the tadpoles are huge. Yeah. Like okay, these. They're, not like that <laughs> they're pretty big. I swear I saw them like this big. <laughs> tadpoles are really big. They're like this. Well, they're pretty big. They're the biggest ones I've ever seen. <clears throat> so Deep Creek Hot Spring. This one's kind of weird. Yeah. I mean, I, I think technically you can't camp there yeah, so like, okay, there's a Deep Creek campground. You can camp there, but at the actual hot spring, technically, I don't think you're allowed to camp there, but everyone does it anyways. But I mean, do it at your own risk. Yeah. But I camp there. Just pick up your trash, because a lot of people tend to leave their trash. and So always bring a trash bag, and um, if you pack in, pack out. But honestly, when I camped there, I met a lot of cool people, and like, that. I don't know, that's why I like Deep Creek a lot, because you meet a lot of cool friends, a lot of cool yeah. people. And I forgot what that beach is called. What beach? Oh, I think this beach is called 420 Beach. And that's where the cliff jump is. If you go up the creek a little bit, you'll find a you'll find a cliff jump. And um, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you guys to do it, but if you wanna do it, go ahead and do it. Yeah, but that's a pretty cool spot. You do have to like go down the creek a little more, climb mm -hmm. some rocks, but it's pretty nice over there. Hey, and this hot spring has goats. Sometimes. This yeah so i said if you see some goats say hi to the goats <laughs> i forgot what the guy's name is with the goats actually if you guys see the naked guy with the spear at remington hot spring tell him i said hi because i saw him at deep creek once and i'm not even kidding dude wait you guys saw each other at deep creek yeah dude no way yeah dude i'm not even kidding That's crazy. it was the funniest thing ever oh and if you guys go to deep creek bring lots of water because yeah. The way back to the car is a mission. So like, I recommend bringing everything like to make you feel comfortable so you can bring everything to Deep Creek. Cause if you want to walk back, it's a mish, especially yeah. out in Apple Valley. 
and like it's in Apple Valley Hesperia area. The sun just beats down on you. It gets super hot out there. So you only want to yes. do that hike once, kick it at Deep Creek. And then when you want to go, you leave. So with all these hot springs, I just want you guys to be aware that clothing is optional. So if you plan on like bringing your kids, you might want to think that. If you're not comfortable with that, just rethink it. It might not be like a family thing. Honestly, at every hot spring, every clothes are optional. Spring, yes. You don't even have to bring clothes. <laughs> like this is a... This is, a, this is a cheap activity. Yeah. You don't have to bring your clothes. I'm just warning you. All right, guys, so that's it for our three hot springs that you must see in California. Like the video and comment below which one you're gonna go to. Mm -hmm. And um, if you go to Deep Creek, let me know because I love going to Deep Creek. <laughs> yeah she loves going to deep creek too she just wants she doesn't want to show it so uh, at these hot springs there's a lot of people so i said just be nice be friendly i say make some friends because they're all pretty cool people i mean we haven't had any problems with anyone they're all pretty cool chill they'll talk and yeah just chill in the hot spring with someone follow us on instagram if you guys want to stay tuned with our trips if you want to come hike with us just dm us be like, yo, I want to come hike with you. You'll be like, okay. And I'm going to hit you with a, okay. And we'll make plans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. And also comment below which one you guys are going to go to next. And if you guys want to see more of Deep Creek, click that video to the left right there. And if you guys want to see, if you guys want to see three must-see waterfalls in California, click the video to the right. And um, it was cool talking to you, even though I didn't talk to you.